our birth on this earth marks the beginning of our individual life journeys during which we meet other fellow travelers who like us will end their individual earthly journeys someday. For us Catholics, our life journeys are also faith journeys, for we believe that God had chosen to walk with us until the end of the age. As St. Matthew's Gospel reminds us in chapter 28, verse 20. Indeed, through the birth of Jesus, which we celebrate at every Christmas, God decided to live and walk with us today and every day, thereby making our journeys a pilgrimage of faith. When Jesus walked this earth, he chose to walk preferentially with the poor, the suffering and the outcast. Christmas will have meaning in our lives when we too, individually, in our families and in our communities, choose to walk like Jesus with the less privileged, the suffering and those who do not belong to our community. This year, the celebration of Christmas takes on a new significance as the Holy Spirit is calling the Church to set on a synodal journey, embracing the Word made flesh, listening to and proclaiming that Word, thus witnessing to the mission of Jesus on earth. We will be able to do that when we learn to walk with others, including people of other religious traditions and even people of no faith, sharing with them our hopes, our disappointments and our anxieties, and also the earth which God has given us as our common home. We shall then be able to live communion to promote participation and to share in the mission of Jesus the three dimensions of the synodal theme. Sisters and brothers, I invite all of us to do what Jesus himself did, to listen to and be in tune with the will of the Father, to participate with others in fulfilling God's plan to discern our common mission and to fulfill it by spreading love and compassion among our fellow travelers. May this beautiful Christmas season serve us as a reminder of God's journey with us. Together, may we become imitators of Christ, walking with our neighbors in their struggles and in their joys. May Mary, the mother of the church, be our companion on this synodal journey. And may the joy and the peace of Christmas remain with us throughout the new year 2022. I wish you, one and all, a truly grace-filled Christmas.